In this video, I'm going to show you one of the free bonuses we give to our Bird Dog Bot members. Now, even though it's normally only available for members, I'm actually giving it away right now just for a limited time. So you're going to want to head on over to www.birddogbot.com and get it for free before we lock it back up again and leave it for members only. The Property Deal Cruncher helps you quickly identify deals by running all the calculations for a property listing and then making a decision as to whether the property is a deal or not. And of course, it does this based on your specific deal requirements. It not only identifies deals, but it's also a sweet little pro forma report generator for a property. And the best part is you can use it as part of a rapid fire system for acquiring properties, which I'm also going to show you. Let's take a quick tour of it first, and then we'll go over how we're going to use it as a rapid fire property acquiring system. The first section is the investor contact info. In here, you're going to add your information so that if you ever print out this page, your information is already on it. In the first step, we're going to define what we're going to look for in terms of a profit and investment to value ratio. If you're not sure what a specific field means, just hover the mouse over it and a pop-up help tip will appear with a description. We won't go over the details of the fields right now so we can keep this training short. We'll cover them in detail in another video. In the second step, we add the property details including the address, city, state, zip, and an asking price. If you're using the property deal cruncher for yourself, you can also add the realtor's contact info here if you want to make note of it just in case you want to contact him about the property. In step three, we're going to do some preliminary due diligence on the property, including getting a market value estimate and some rental income estimate. The estimated market value is the average of the market values you add here. At a minimum, you only need to input one market value for the property deal cruncher to make a decision. In step four, we show all the calculations on a given property. The important one to look at here is the maximum purchase price. This is the most we're allowed to spend to acquire the property in order for it to be a deal for us. If you spend more than that, then everything goes out the window. If there's one rule you never break, it's this. Never spend more than the maximum purchase price to acquire the property. No exceptions. Let's move on to the expenses on the right. Here we ballpark some initial estimates we're going to use to determine if the property deserves any more of our attention. If the property deal cruncher says this property is a deal, then we can go back and adjust these numbers, make them more accurate, and finally decide if we want to pursue the property or not. The idea is to remove the 98% of the crappy listings that are not even worth looking at as quickly as possible. So we use these expense estimates as that initial filter. Next, in step five, we see the property deal cruncher's decision. This will say deal when the numbers look good or no deal when the numbers look bad. This could also say pass if the maximum purchase price is far too below the asking price. In other words, if you have to make an offer that's far too much below the asking price, then it's probably not worth your time. So just pass on it anyway. Finally, in step six, we have an offer strategy, which also shows you the profit and ROI you'd make should that offer get accepted. You can use the result column to make note as to the progress of negotiation. For example, the initial offer could have been rejected, and now you're waiting to hear back about the second offer. Now here's how you use it. We're going to jump around the sheet a little bit, but don't worry, all these steps are on the side just in case you ever forget. First, we're going to set up the property deal cruncher so we can reduce the data entry required each time we use it. Under the investor contact info, fill in your personal information to make it feel a little more like your own. Next, fill out all the dark gray boxes as these numbers will typically be the same regardless of the property listing. Again, treat the expense estimates as quick filters at this stage of the game. Don't get hung up on trying to get more accurate expense details. They're not important at this stage. We're just sifting and sorting at this point. Now what I'd recommend you do is save the property deal cruncher as it is right now so that we don't have to do this step ever again. Now we're all set up and we can start putting properties through the property deal cruncher. At a minimum, all you need to fill out is the two orange boxes, the asking price and the market value. And the property deal cruncher will make a decision for you. But to make it easy to get a market value, first enter in a property address including the city, state and zip. And next we enter the asking price. Since we already entered the address, the links in the research area will directly link to the relevant pages on those sites. So to get a market value, you could simply click on the Zillow link and you'll be taken directly to Zillow and we can use the Zillow's estimate. Coming back to the property deal cruncher. Now, once you've entered the asking price and at least one market value, check to see what the property deal cruncher says down here. If it goes red and says no deal, or if it says pass, we're done with this property and we move on to the next one. If the property deal cruncher goes green and says deal, we'll continue filling out the sheet. As you fill out the sheet, if you discover something about a property that's a deal breaker, just stop and move on to the next property. Next, add a monthly rent estimate, which you can get from rentometer.com or you can even use the Zillow Rents estimate as an example. 
This will now calculate the rent to investment ratio and the sheet is complete. So let's save a copy of this deal. You can use the file save as in Excel or what I like to do is just create a copy of the master sheet and simply rename it. This way I don't have to dig for files on my PC and I can then just go back to the master sheet for the next property I want to analyze. It's up to you and either method works just as good. Now that all the numbers are calculated, we can use the links in the research section to do some preliminary due diligence on the area. Want to see what a neighborhood looks like? Just click on the Google Maps, then go to Street View, and then you can take a tour of the neighborhood. If you want statistical information, just click on the bestplaces.net link and research away. Now here's how I roll. If everything looks good up to this point, what I do next is actually send off an offer. And here's the key, conditional on inspection and see what happens. You see, I'm not going to waste my time and money doing home inspections and getting construction quotes until I have an accepted offer. If the offer gets accepted, sweet. Now I'll print the sheet, which by the way, looks nicely on a single page and get a home inspection done along with a construction quote or two or three quotes and start fine tuning my expenses based on the results of the inspection and the various contractor quotes. If the costs are higher, in fact, high enough to make the property deal cruncher change its mind and say no deal, then I'll either back out of the deal or I'll go back to the seller and negotiate based on the inspection report and the construction quotes. If they come down enough on their price such that the deal crunch will go green again and everything still looks good, then I go ahead with the deal. If they don't budge on their price, who cares? It's no big deal. We're on to the next property. Now here's a tip. Even though you can find all kinds of deals using Bird Dog Bot, it's still good to keep our eyes and ears open for off-market deals. So when you're working with a wholesaler, another investor, or anyone else helping you look for deals, you can give them your customized version of the property deal cruncher with your profit, ITV, and expense estimates already set, and then tell them to only send you the deals that make the property deal cruncher turn green and say deal. This pretty much takes all the work off your shoulders, gives it to them, and best of all, you don't have to waste your time or their time either for that matter, sending deals back and forth that you'd never consider anyway. So get your free copy of the Property Deal Cruncher. Go to www.birddogbot.com and get your copy while it's still free. I'll even show you how to customize it for your needs. So whether you're a real estate investor, wholesaler, or real estate agent, there are certain tweaks you can do to get better results for your situation. So go grab your copy now at www.birddogbot.com and I'll see you over there.